Blender is known for its great 3D capabilities and how it rivals paid software while being completely free and open source. However, people tend to forget that Blender can go beyond more than just 3D. The software has other capabilities. It can do VFX, video editing, scripting, but most importantly for our video today, 2D art and animation. Blender can be used in so many ways for all of your 2D animation needs. And for our video today, we wanted to share our pick for the best 2D Blender animation tutorial that show us how to make use of this great tool. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. In their tutorial, Sketchy Squirrel shows us how we can draw a 2D character in Krita and then rig it in Blender to make a walk cycle animation. The tutorial is organized and cut into 12 parts, including the intro and outro, so that you can easily come back to it and select the specific part you want to rewatch. After an intro, where Sketchy Squirrel talks about what they're going to be explaining in the video, the tutorial moves to the first part of the process, which is drawing. The tutorial then moves to other parts, such as assembly, rigging, and image binding, and so on and so forth, until the very last step of animation. All in all, this tutorial is as concise as it can be, for this type of tutorial, that is. It's well organized and thought out, and we highly recommend it if you're interested in animating your 2D character in Blender. In this 20-minute tutorial, KD Sketch walks us through, as the title obviously states, how she made an animation using the Blender object Grease Pencil and the many other tools of Blender. KD Sketch's tutorial is carefully sectioned in two parts, with each part being very specific to what she is doing. KD Sketch goes into every single detail and helps you understand each feature and tool she is using. As she moves along the sections, different tips and tricks are scattered throughout the tutorial to help you, such as suggesting an alternative software to TV Paint, which is the software she uses in the first step of drawing, or how to navigate drawing and coloring with materials. KD Sketch's tutorial is well thought out and explained, and we highly recommend it if you have a similar project you want to do in mind. This tutorial is different from the two previously mentioned ones in two things. Number one is that it's specifically about animating 2D Street Fighter-like VFX, and number two is that it's a time-lapse rather than an explained process. Nevertheless, the time-lapse is properly sectioned for each step and is in good quality that shows everything that is being done on the software. If that still isn't enough explanation for you, Pierrick has a different video that gives a detailed breakdown of the steps he goes through using voiceover. This video is much akin to the previously listed videos on our list. One thing to keep in mind is that this video includes the full process of animating a 3D character, so you might want to skip the VFX section at 12 minutes and 44 seconds to get that specific part. In this two-part tutorial, Raymond Gabriel from RG3D shows us how we can animate a 2D character using Blender. The first part walks us through everything from importing our character into Blender to assembling and working with planes, and then the second part focuses on rigging with all of its different steps. The tutorial is organized and sectioned into all the different parts that Raymond goes through, so you can always come back to the specific part you want. The approach Raymond uses is very clear and detailed, showing every single step taken and explaining all of the different tools and features used to make for an easily digestible tutorial that you can follow and animate along with. So, if you're a beginner and need some hand-holding as you navigate Blender, we highly recommend not only this video, but RG3D's entire channel, actually. Although the title of this tutorial is extremely specific, you can easily follow it to create an animation that does not necessarily have a dog. Learn to Animate walks us through the entire process of using Blender's Grease Pencil to make a 2D animation using a video reference as a base for the animation. The video is sectioned and organized so you can easily navigate to different parts of it. It's also very thorough and detailed in its explanation, demonstrating all of the steps and explaining what is being done using voiceover. This tutorial works well for a beginner as it's easy to follow and understand. 
All in all, we highly recommend you check this tutorial out. This two-part tutorial is for all of you anime lovers out there who are mesmerized by delicious cooking scenes in anime and honestly, we relate. Shenuka Korea, I guess, walks us through her entire process from doing research and understanding how animators approach animating food and cooking, all the way to filming the reference and of course, diving into the animation process itself using grease pencil in Blender. The first part tackles the animation and drawing process and the second part is all about coloring. Both parts are organized and sectioned for easier navigation. Here's yet another tutorial by Learn to Animate. This time around, Learn to Animate shows us how we can achieve the parallax effect in Blender. Now, if you don't know what a parallax effect is, it's when a scene is given the illusion of movement and animation by positioning different elements of said scene on different layers and giving them a dynamic effect relative to the point of sight. Learn to Animate explains the entire process as simply as possible, walking you through all the steps to get to the final result. As per usual, we highly recommend it to those who want to animate a scene using the magic of parallax effect. This tutorial was made by Marco Bucci, and for this very reason, we can just recommend it and let it speak for itself. This is how much of a great artist and teacher Marco Bucci is. This specific video tutorial is the second part of a three-part series where Marco Bucci dives into the capabilities of Blender for 2D artists and how they can use it to make their process efficient. This specific tutorial goes into using some tools and features in Blender to make your background look lively and animated, and then shows us how we can use Blender to fully animate in 2D using the 2D animation workspace and grease pencil in Blender. As with other videos on this list, this one is also sectioned into different parts for easy navigation. All in all, we highly recommend you watch this video to discover the many amazing 2D features and tools in Blender. We have yet another video on our list today by Team Miracles. Our host for this tutorial is good ol' Shenuka Korea, I guess, again. I'm so sorry if I'm butchering her name, but do let me know in the comments. This time around, Shenuka shows us how we can animate a scene in Blender. As with the other tutorial, her style and approach is very reminiscent of Studio Ghibli's movies. So, if this is your jam, better check out this video. This tutorial is much akin to the previous one done by the same YouTube channel. It starts off by doing research and giving observations here and there, and also giving tips and tricks and then moves on to the process, which is, of course, sectioned and organized according to each major step taken. This video tutorial by Joyce and Anthony is straight to the point with its presentation, showing us all the steps you need to go through to rig a character in Blender to prepare it for animation. Unlike other tutorials mentioned previously, where another software was used to do the 2D drawing portion, Joyce Ann uses Blender to draw, rig, and animate all together. If you want to go through the full process of 2D animation in Blender, we highly recommend you watch Joyce Ann's tutorial to get an idea on how that could work. And that's it for our video today. We hope you find a good tutorial for what you need. Let us know which one is your favorite. And if we missed any tutorial you think should be on this list, don't hesitate to let us know in the comment section below. With that being said, thank you for watching as always, and see you next time.